So, I was going to post this video in October when the game actually launches, but then the devs just, they just throw a curveball and they're like, oh yeah, no, the NDA's gone. Do whatever you want with the gameplay. I'm like, bro, oh my god, my views, I can feel them declining. So, if I had to make a comparison off the bat, it would be that Steep is like the Forza of skiing games, you know? And by comparison, Rise of Republic is more of like a Mario Kart type game. But only in some aspects, you'll see a major exception later on. One other thing I'll say before we get into the video is that this game is not Steep 2. If you go into it hoping to get a Steep 2, then you will be disappointed. It plays differently in every way. It is an entirely new game in itself. So just keep that in mind before you buy it. Now, although you can choose a Steep-like button layout in Rise Republic, I and many others instead recommend the Trickster configuration, as the former takes away some functionality, a theme you'll be seeing a lot throughout this comparison. To start things, let's look at the basic ski controls while you're on the ground. In both games, you can move left and right with the left stick, although the feel is certainly different. This is where the changes begin. To accelerate and brake in Steep, you push or pull forwards or back on the left stick. In Riders though, on the default layer for Trickster, this is instead controlled with the triggers, the right being Accelerate, and the left being Break. I'll also note that the Break in Rise Republic is much quicker, providing an almost instantaneous halt in momentum. Next up for skiing on the ground in Steep is the right stick, which brings even more depth to the controls. Left and right on the right stick will make your character drift, moving the skis but not your character. It's only when you combine this with the left stick inputs, where you see functionality emerge. Left and right, or right and right, will allow you to make a sharp turn, sacrificing speed for a quick directional change. You can also push or pull both sticks in the opposite direction to perform a spin. This spin can be used anywhere, and is very useful when it comes to performing butters, ahead of a trick for extra style. Now, while pushing forwards on the right stick does nothing, pulling back will perform a break, identical to that of the left stick, but only this time you won't ever actually come to a full stop. You can combine this with the regular break to come to a halt even quicker, or with the left stick's turn controls to perform rapid U-turns. In Riders, none of this exists. The spin has been simplified to a single button press, sacrificing nuance for ease of access. No more cool buttons. The sharp turns have also now been integrated into the break, but there's only one level of intensity. You can now hopefully see the trend of removing features begin. Right before we jump into tricks, I would like to touch on the crashing mechanics. In Steep, when you hit something like a tree, or land badly slash deplete your g-force meter, you will enter a ragdoll state. This will only end when your character model has come to a near stop, providing some sense of realism among the insanity of your bone strength. Like, how am I alive? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Tis but a scratch. A scratch? In the new game though, they have removed the g-force meter altogether. Sometimes you land in ways previously thought impossible, and sometimes you just crash right away. When you do crash though, you can literally just spam D to stand right back up again, like your Jesus rising from his cave. There's also no standing animation, and instead your player model is instantly brought up right. I know I just said that Riders takes things away, but Trix will tell you a different story. In Steep, on skis, snowboard is different, there are nine different tricks you can pull off, with tweaks on five which offer two different stances. In Riders, two sets of 12, 24 in total. You'll see what I mean by this later. No tweaks though. The changes don't stop there though, with the initial jump controls being altered as well. Whereas in Steep, you would simply hold down the right trigger to bend your knees, then release to perform the jump. In Riders, you pull the right stick in the opposite direction of whichever way you want to spin when the jump commences, then pushing it in the desired way to commence your rotation. You can still perform jumps with no rotation though. Simply pull back on the right stick in any given direction, then release it to trigger the jump with no further input. Now, let's get into the meat of the tricks. In Steep, as soon as you release the right trigger, you have the option to begin a spin in any direction with the left stick. This can either be a front flip, back flip, or a rodeo cork, cork rodeo, rodeo cork, cork or rodeo. On top of this, <laughs> you can add a specific grab of your choosing. The controls for all nine are as follows. Safety, left or right trigger, not both. Bow and arrow, both triggers. Mute, right trigger with right stick left, or the other way around. Japan, left trigger with right stick left, or the other way around. Nose grab, left or right trigger with right stick up. Tail grab, left or right trigger with right stick down. 
Venom, both triggers down with right stick to the left. Brebus, both triggers with right stick right. Truck Driver, both triggers with right stick up. Octograb, both triggers with right stick down. Like I previously mentioned, five of the tricks in Steep are subject to tweaks, where you can change the stance of the skis midway through your jump. These are the Safety, Mute, Japan, Nose Grab, and Tail Grab, or all the tricks with only one trigger being held down. You could argue that this creates an entirely new trick, but when you take into account that the game does this with certain tweaks on the snowboard, like the Japan and Method, and not these, I believe that simply is not the case. Tricks and riders are mostly the same, though on the default configuration, you control your rotation with the right stick and trick with the left stick. This can be changed if you wish, but I think it just makes sense this way. The first trick set is what I encountered most of the time in the beta, and later on I discovered it's what is the d Okay, it's weird. It's a weirdo. It doesn't fit in, and it doesn't want to fit in. There are like race skis, and there are like trick skis, and there's like a race bike and trick bike. So on the stunts, my character got switched to the race skis, same with the like triathlon things. But in free roam, because I don't have the race skis yet, I can't do the second set of tricks. I just, <laughs> guess what? Good news. I found out that I actually have some of the different skis, which means I have good gameplay of the other set of tricks. This is a big win. This is a big win. Down with both triggers is rocket air. Up with both triggers is double tail grab. Left with both triggers is bow and arrow. Right with both triggers is double genie. Up with right trigger is Weddle, down with right trigger is Blunt, right with right trigger is Safety, and left with right trigger is Japan. Up with left trigger is Tail Grab, down with left trigger is Nose Grab, right with left trigger is Genie, and left left trigger is Taipan. Next are the tricks for the race configuration, skis. Up with both is Truck Driver, down with both is Venom, left with both is Octo Grab, right with both is Brebus, left with right trigger is Seatbelt, Right with right trigger is Liu Kang. Down with right trigger is Nose Weddle. Up with right trigger is Cuban. Left with left trigger is Fill Grab. Right with left trigger is Critical, not that guy. Up with left trigger is Toxic. And down with left trigger is Inside Safety. So you can see where all the effort went. The downside, however, when it comes to riders, is that you can't tweak any of these. Instead of changing your ski stance inside the trick, It'll just move on to the corresponding trick, as if you would just start the jump with these controls. It does add to the score though, and shows a combo trick in the thing, in the summary. Yes. And with that, you have all the differences, I think. I hope so. There is of course a large difference in feel, but it's hard to put that into words. Now, by the end here, you may be wondering, well, hey, Simus LaRue, Simus are extraordinaire. Do you think I should buy it? I can't say. I'm 16. I don't have to pay bills. I have no concept of what's a good spending of your money. Like, bro, don't ask me. I don't know. Look up an actual review. I'm just making this in my basement. Okay, bye. Also, if you like the first-person GoPro view of Steep, you'll enjoy this one even more. It's so smooth. It's so nice. Biking just feels amazing. But why would you make it so during tricks you pan out into third person? It makes no sense. Just keep.